Hello everyone, it's great to be back with you at AMA Regenerative Medicine and Skin Care. We are right now in the room that we dedicated for integrative medicine, specifically for ozone therapies and high potency IV therapies. And today we're gonna to talk about primarily ozone therapy. You may have heard of ozone therapy. It's one of those therapies that's considered alternative, which is really kind of strange given the fact that it's been used for decades throughout Europe and uh, throughout Asia. In fact, ozone therapy was used here in the United States back in the early turn of the last century. In fact, Nikola's Tesla was even using ozone in ozonated oils, which he used medicinally. So it has a long history. In fact, if you look over the last few decades, over all the many, many hundreds of clinics throughout Europe that use ozone, ozone therapy is one of the safest therapies ever used in human history. There are a number of primary ways that ozone is used in treating the human body. One is administrating ozone into the blood. Another one is bagging a limb. You actually surround the limb with a bag and, and infuse the ozone gas into the bag to treat the skin of that limb. Another very effective way of using ozone is by injection. Oftentimes, we'll inject directly into a degenerated joint and the patient will have all sorts of amazing healing from the use of ozone in that joint. Another method is ozone insufflation where the gas is infused directly into a body cavity. I want to focus right now on the most effective way of ozone therapy into human blood. And that would be this device right here, the Hermann Hyperbaric Ozone Therapy. What happens is that we start an IV in a patient and this device will suck the blood up into a special container right here and then it will ozonate the blood under pressure, hence the term hyperbaric ozone therapy. Once the blood is fully oxygenated and ozonated, it then pumps it back into the body and then it'll draw it out again and do the whole process over again. It can do it for multiple passes, the ideal number of passes being around 10, hence the other term, the 10-pass device. Now there's a lot of theories of why the hyperbaric device is a better administration of ozone than the normal one pass that you've seen with a simple IV bag. And quite frankly, we're not exactly sure. But really all that matters are that the clinical results are significantly better. We know for instance that when you use a hyperbaric administration of the ozone, it interacts more powerfully with the mitochondria of cells in the body. And the mitochondria, of course, are the engine of life in each one of our individual cells. So if you can stimulate the mitochondria, you are stimulating the regenerative capacity of the body. Now we also know from all the research being conducted in Europe that once you get to about eight passes of this hyperbaric ozone administration, that the stem cells of the body systemically throughout your body seem to get stimulated and the stimulation of your stem cells is one of the single most important aspects of the regenerative capacity of your health and longevity. There's a whole list of other very positive things that happen when you administer ozone to a blood of a person. I'll name just a few of them. Blood flow significantly improves, which of course improves the perfusion of oxygen throughout the entire body in all tissues of the body. Another thing that happens is the reduction of overall cholesterol. Well, that's pretty much a good thing for just about everybody. Another very significant thing is that it improves the red blood cells metabolism and increases their ability to carry and deliver oxygen to your tissues. And by the way, that's one of the reasons that elite athletes are very interested in the use of ozone to increase their athletic ability and their athletic performance. Now, when we talk about cellular perfusion of oxygen and how that increases the body's ability to utilize oxygen and its efficiency throughout its entire muscular system and organ system, don't forget the brain also benefits hugely from ozonation of blood. One of the things you will see from the patients that were interviewed is that brain fog lifts through ozonation of the blood. Your brain, simply put, will function better, your memory will improve, your ability to think will improve, and basically you feel like your brain is working and brightened up. So once again, our purpose here at AMA Regenerative Medicine and Skin Care is to keep all of you, our wonderful growing family of viewers, up to date 
on the most advanced and innovative and important methodologies of health and well-being, especially those that are integrative and regenerative and out of the box. Being dedicated to all of your education and edification so that you can live long and strong and healthy also means that I want your questions. If there's anything you want to know about or if you have questions about ozone, please post them in the comment section and I will get right back to you. So if this video has been useful and helpful and edifying of you, please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and share your subscription with other friends and family who you care about as well.